So hi and me again and let's do more work on our rifle. So I will focus uh, now on this part here and try to finish it in uh, this part of the video tutorial. Now, first of all uh, I want to hide this and actually I want to hide everything and just keep this. Uh, but before I want to copy the screws on the back of, of the gun so uh, I will scale them a little bit these two to make them bigger. Okay, I will delete this one and scale just one at once and shift and drag it somewhere. Now uh, with the selection uh, I will select all screws, group them and you can notice uh, that if you group something that, uh, that the move is more or the center of the object is in the center of the screws. So I can use the mirror tool, keep the instance here and just move them down. I think I will focus just on a few screws and yeah like this, maybe a little like this. The screws should be like here. Uh, at the same position, I will ungroup them and now I can hide unselected and focus on this. First of all, uh, I will go here and make here some cuts. F4 to see. Now the cuts is cause the smoothing. So, we'll just do here a A simple cut here and here, and the same uh, from the back side. And if you will apply a mesh smooth or tuber smooth or subdivision, I don't know what, uh, now it should smooth how it should be. So, before uh, for sure, there uh, will be some like bad polygons, uh, stuff like that, but now it should be uh, fine. Okay, and I think I will do one more here, just to be sure. So if you model something and after smoothing, have here bad polys, just do some cuts. You don't have to do much, uh, it should fix that. Now, because this uh, shape is straight, uh, it's very easy to fix. Now, uh, I noticed here, after I was watching the model, that here are some strange things. And I mean this one here, so I will fix this very quickly. Uh, I will touch and weld this vertex here, cut this here and delete this edge. Now well, let's go to edge, select edge and backspace to delete. Now the same from the back side. Now the same issue here, so I will touch it weld. Cut this here and delete this edge. Oops. And also fix this one here. I'll do uh, more cuts uh, to fix the triangles just to keep the quads in my model. Okay, sometimes the triangle can be, but I, tr uh, I really try to uh, be aware of them and fix every one I see. This was the second fix and the last thing. What to fix here is this. Uh, I have no idea how this could happen, but I need to fix this just by doing some straight cuts here, here. Now I will go to bottom view and move some vertex in this axis. Away. Like this. This should be fine after.
just move them a little bit. Now Z to zoom, and let's go here. Now, uh, when I was looking on the reference, here is some part. It looks like half a cylinder or something like that. I will not uh, model it straight on my shape. I will do a separate object. It will be much faster than trying to do it here. This I will do uh, at last. Uh, now uh, I will do some details here, very simple one, and the things here. Now, I think I will start here. So let's go to top view, and first of all, I need to do some uh, straight cuts, just two of them. I will do a cut from here here up, here and here, and I need the same from the bottom. I will do a cut here and also a cut here. Now try to make them straight, absolutely straight. If they would be, it doesn't matter. Hmm. Now, now let's Let's go to edge, turn off the cut. I have a strange feeling. Uh, something wrong with my max. Let's go one step back. Perspective. Okay, one step forward. Yep. Okay, now it's good. So let's go for edge and we need to connect all these edges here. And this one on the top. Now the same from the back. The one here. Okay, let's go to the top. And we need to do some uh, connection here. I don't know, I want here six. Uh, all the strange details which I can't remember how's the name in English. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Still selected these uh, edges here. Uh, let's do a chamfer. We'll create a cap. Okay, and now let's select these bodies here. So this one, this, this. It should be the same size, and I think they are. We'll set this a little bit. And we'll do a bevel. We'll do two times a bevel. Uh, we need local normal. And I will try to do it with the mouse. So I will go up and inside. But I think I will do less. Yeah, maybe this is better. Yeah, this is fine. Now the the bad part is we need to select a lot of edges. So when we have selected these top edges everywhere, control edge, let's go to top view and holding alt, uh, we, oops, we deselect the edges inside because we don't want to chamfer them, we just want the edges which are outside to chamfer. Let's go to perspective. And we'll do manual setting here. We'll do here a uh, chamfer. A little less. Like this. And we'll try to do a double chamfer. Now I still hope that my model will be good enough to use uh, just mm, smooth modifier. But of course, I'm trying to do it uh, to be used also with the uh, subdivision or stuff like that. The difference is that if you want the or want or just use the smooth modifier, you can make some bad police or stuff like that, and nobody will notice. But with subdivision, the bad uh, things in the geometry will be immediately seen. So I selected these edges here, I loop loop at them. And again, chamfer here. We'll do here, I think, just one chamfer. 
Ah, okay, my bad. Should be enough here. Now I need to transfer this here. And it wants to transfer here. Okay. I'll do here this cut. And I will not do it straight. Let's go to the top. So let's do this cut. Trying to uh, copy a little bit the shape of our model. Now the same. We need to do from the bottom, of course. Just to make sure that everything will be like I want. Or you. Or maybe some of you have already the model finished. And it's looking better than mine. I hope not. But if yes, congratulations. Uh, okay, now again uh, we need to finish everything here. Uh, finish. Select. The problem here is uh, we have a lot of this and we need a lot of this to be transferred. So it will be like a headache now. So I think I will find my best value for this. I will do just one transfer. Yeah, this is fine. And enough. And now... Wait. No, it's fine. And now I will select the rest of the edges. All of them. And I'm I don't understand why I didn't select this at the bottom actually here. I'm sorry for that. Come on. Yeah, actually I will select also the, the one at the bottom. But still do just the one transfer. Now, let's see. Yeah, this is actually working a little better. Anyway, uh, uh, I can transfer it like that right now. You see? Now it will be good. This I have to fix after. Mm. Okay. Uh, so let's loop this here. I'm very happy that the loop function is working here because why not? Uh, we'll be selecting a lot just manually, which uh, always takes a lot of time. But you know, when you have to do it, you have to do it. It's nothing you can do. So. Let's select them. I'll try to do it quick. Now oh, I hope everything is selected. I'll jump here and look what else I selected with the loop. Apply it here. A lot of things. Hmm. I'm thinking if to keep the selection or not. Oh, this is for sure fine. Now from the back side, this loop is fine too. Not really. So somehow I selected also this here. Okay, never mind. Let's do the chamfer. Before I apply, I will look on every edge if it's chamfered like it should. Oops, oops, oops. Now I have no idea where I am.
Napoleon still at the bank. Yeah. So let's go here. This I will fix. It's fine, fine. Okay, this is not so fine. Because the chime for here is too much. Wow. Okay, turn this off and deselect the top view all these edges and apply the chamfer again. Now it should be fine. I'll jump here and by dotted weld this here and this here. And it should be fine. Yep. <coughs> Perspective. Let's look. Press 4 to deselect. Ah, it's looking nice. Now, uh, let's look here. Okay. Great, great. This is fine. Great, great, great. Uh, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Now, okay, let's uh, fix a few issues here. Now, the first of all, let's go here. Now, anyway, I will, I will have to fix them later, so maybe now is the good time. Now, uh, I will delete this edge, delete this vertex, select the cut tool, and connect this here. Now, if I will turn this again on, the bad thing which was here disappeared. Now, I will do the same on the other side. Next, uh, you can see this here. We'll do again some cuts to prevent uh, doing the model of this bad smoothing. And again, I will do the same on the back side, but first here. This was fine, and here was something similar like that before. And to fix this, I will do here a cut. Do a cut straight down. So I will just copy. I'll try to copy my model and do something like a chamfer. But before I couldn't do the chamfer because it was too big, and like we saw. It was interacting with this shape here, so I didn't want it to keep it on. Now, he was also something, but uh, we will not fix this uh, so far, maybe later. Oh, of course later, I mean, but not now. So let's finish this cut here. I'm trying to copy my shape. And let's connect it here. This I will delete. Backspace for this. And let's fix this here. Now, as you can see, uh, we're slowly going to finish this model. Now, the worst part is still before us, it's the main body of the mm, of the weapon. It will take some time to make all the details there. Maybe I will skip some, because if you remember, there was really nice details, yeah, I admit. But uh, let's do the tutorial like not so long, like nobody want to watch the tutorial, which is long like hell, and someone is just making new and new details there. So let's keep it uh, long enough, but not uh, too long. Okay, this is fixed. Now let's go here for this shape. I will do here just some quick detail, and maybe later I will, if I will have time, I will do a little bit more there. So uh, let's select these uh, polys here, and oops, 
let's go for bevel. Now I need to bevel it to look normal, but look what is happening here. Oh, very strange, very strange. Now I uh, I could try to reset, uh, reset the X form, but it will not help. Of course, I already tried that. And so I'll just fix this very quick. Now the first thing I will do, uh, I will select back the polys and inset this a little bit. Not so much. Like this. I will insert it like this. I will delete these edges and also this vertex. I will do the same a little bit later at the bottom. And now I will cut this and actually connect the shape. Well, we can go straight here. And the bell uh, should be working after without any problem. So just make some cuts. This uh, could be like not so straight. We'll not do anything with these edges after. So it should be fine. Okay. Now let's go to bottom and do the same. <coughs> now sometimes it's very important to know what you're going to model. Because when you know that, uh, you can like adjust your modeling to that and don't have to fix anything later. But usually you don't have so big imagination to see all the steps before you went. You just make sometimes some mistakes but uh, like like everything you can fix almost anything here and it's not it's rather quick and it's okay, I think. Okay, let's go to top. And oh, uh, cool. My still selected these uh, polys. We'll do two bevels, big and small. Be sure to be in lock normal. And uh, let's go. Oh, I can see the bevel is working. What's the bevel and smaller bevel? And I think I will just do like the shape like this here. It's very simple. Well, it's almost nothing. Just to make it, okay, let's say a little bit more interesting. Maybe later, like I told, I will do something different here, but not now. Uh, I will do a chamfer here. I will do here a double chamfer. To make it uh, more smooth. I need to do it also on the top. A little bit later, I will do here at the bottom a chamfer, a small one. Like this, and now this top. And here will be the loop function working just, just a little bit. So we need to select something manually. And again, uh, do a nice chamfer. Just, oh, this is fine. Let's do again. Now again, because uh, I want to use also the smooth modifier, I'm trying to smooth every edge which I can. Just to make shapes look uh, more smooth. Yeah, this looks fine actually. It's looking more and more like the gun on the reference picture, which is which is the good thing. If it will be looking absolutely different, it will be the bad thing. Now we need to transfer this edge here. Now of course this will be a little bit harder to do, but not impossible. Now here we have some interaction with the shape, I think. Oops, oops, oops. To the back. Okay, I will do it a little bit bigger. Anyway, like this. 
and before I continue I will try the mesh mode if everything is fine and yes it's looking fine it's going to high value Uh, let's turn this off. Okay, here we have something which we have to fix, and here too. I think the rest is looking good. Wow, well, this we will fix later. I'm sure, it's fine anyway. Okay, what is causing the trouble here? Uh, it's the top. I think it's the, actually the way I was cutting here. Oh, okay. Delete this and this. Cut here and here and oops, delete this uh, vertex here. Uh, let's try again. Mm. Oops, oh, it wasn't what I wanted. Ah, oh, turn this off. Okay. okay, it's causing the second and it's causing cool. No, I just want to use the one, but I really want to know what is causing these issues. I will try to insert it. Z to zoom on it. Just quick to see gain. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I will look on it later. Yeah, I will look on it later. Now uh, here we had something. Just want to, yeah. This is actually fine because the only thing which I have to do is here is a straight cut. And actually, I th yeah, I think the same problem is here, so I will not uh, fix this. I will do it later. Uh, I just want to do here the rest, like chaffering this and. If you believe me that I will fix it later, I will just explain what I want to do. I will do also, also, also this one here. Now, uh, I don't know if you notice how the subdivision was going, like which way. And wow, wow, what? Was causing these troubles. It was actually doing like very, very simple, very simple thing, which is missing here. And just to show, as you can see now, uh, the subdivision is going this way, and also here, and it's nothing here. What it uh, will be. Stopping it or preventing it from going like all the time to the right, and the only thing which we have to do here is uh, make some cuts which will like prevent subdivision to go like from one place to another. So, after when we will step here, which will be I think at the end of this part, I will do some cuts like here, here, and here, and prevent the subdivision from doing this. So I think it's very very nice. Okay, I think 
I will not do anything more on this. Uh, we can just uh, check here the smooth modifier. I was looking with that. Oh yeah. Now here is some like strange things, but it's nothing bad. Actually, it's very nice. You see, it's like it's very nice. Even if it's sub uh, just smooth modifier, it's looking nice. And I think at the end I will do a uh, few renders like comparing the things. So very ah. Anyway, we'll see. Okay. Uh, now I need to go and do here some shape, which I can remember what was the name. Ah, it was old thing, I think. No, it wasn't. Oh, it was? Hmm. Funny shape. No, I think it was this. No, it was a capsule. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was this shape. So I will do something like this. It doesn't matter actually much. I will use 18 sides. Smooth it. Yeah, I will smooth it. And I will slice it. Uh, one height. One. Ah, sorry. 180 degrees. Oh, actually, I don't like this much. It's too round. I don't want it so much. <laughs> okay. Probably not this. So, if not this, what? No, I think we will do from the thing from the box, like before when it was doing the screw, so I would just do a box, convert it to poly, apply subdivision about 2, apply the spherify modifier, convert it back to poly, and I will do my shape from this one. So I'll delete this and cap this just. Selecting the border, I will cap. I will go to top to see better. And oops. So this edge here, chamfer it. And now select this police but not the bottom one and drag it in one way I will do the same from here yep the same from here uh, perspective we we'll change the color of this thing wow. And I will scale this. I will scale this, but I will place it in the position where it should be. Let's go to top. First of all, I will scale it from this view. So I want it to be placed somewhere here. So I will scale it like this and this a little bit more. And I will place it here. Or maybe a little bit bigger. Yeah, I think this actually is looking not so bad. Now I will affect the pivot to the center of my object and scale this from this view and put it like this. Perspective. <coughs> Hmm, maybe it's too big. So let's scale it. This, this, and this position. Okay. I will move it straight here and put it down. 
and yeah actually something like this I was looking for now to make it uh, just a little bit uh, looking more interesting let's do here some uh, random details select the bottom poly somehow I will select it like this control edge let's chamfer this apply select this loop it chamfer this again but with small small value I'll select this edge bring it control poly <laughs> extrude a bevel oh, let's go for extrude lock normal and make something like this Now loop all edges around. Probably we don't have to loop everything. Just to be sure. We loop anyway. We'll do a small chamfer here. Like this. Okay. Now what else we can do here? I'll move this a little bit to see also the things on the bottom and okay uh, I will do here a cut here until here I'll do this I think just from one side select this edge loop it and extrude it I don't know why it's default so big. Oh, what the hell is this? Ah, oh, it was too too much. Okay, let's go a little bit here. And keep it like this. Now still selected the uh, Edge inside. Let's loop the sides. Now to make something like this, and, <coughs> and I don't know. Uh, we can do the last thing, which would be, I think, a little bit strange, but let's see how it will be looking. We'll extrude this, but we'll extrude it just. Oops. Let's go by zero. We'll start by zero. We'll check it to by poly. And we'll go like this. Now, if I press it forward, we'll create something like this here. Now, I don't know actually how we'll be behaving here. Sure, it's not behaving so bad. I was thinking it would be behaving much worse because I uh, we was we wasn't doing any chamfer. Let's press a four uh, to see again everything, and we'll connect this <coughs> seven times, and we can do this. Uh, Strange thing also somewhere else. And that we can do it just here. Keep it like this. I don't know, just to make it a little bit different from the rest of the shape. No, it's looking not so bad. In the second, it will be much smoother. Uh, it's a little bit interesting, so why not, actually? Well, F4, turn this off, and play, uh, let's place it back. So it should be... And now it's up to us where exactly. We can do it like absolutely here. Uh, I think I will... 
leave it like this. Leave it like this. I'll copy this instance and move it to the bottom too. Okay. All right. Uh, I will unhide all because I need some screws. I will, I think, use this bigger ones. So just no, I will use the small ones. Instance again. Actually, I forgot that when I was scaling this, the screws which was instance before should be like scaling too. Sometimes I forgot what I did and I just make uh, work for myself, extra work. Okay. Now well, let's go to top to place it. A little bit more accurate to our model. So let's keep it instant still and leave it like this. Again, I will group this, I will go to perspective, <coughs> Z to zoom, and make a mirror. Okay, and place it at the back. And ungroup the model. Now I saw, he saw here something. Yep, just delete this and cap it again. Now it's disappeared. Now to fix the issues, uh, which I was telling before, I will do more cuts. You can do the cuts also here, probably, but let's start here. So main shape. Uh, so we don't will do cuts from everything, of course. Like I will do a cut from this straight to the top here. I will do it. Uh, do the same at the bottom. I will do this here. This cut here. Oh, this wasn't straight. Maybe let's go to some view. No, it's not. Oh yeah, this will be maybe better. I will just move it to make it straight. Now probably it doesn't matter, but oh, okay, let's be sure that it doesn't matter for sure. Now we can do a cut like here in the hull. First here. Okay, where we stopped. Up again. I make made it like straight. You can straight it a little bit, and let's go. After we will from some view, we will do the cut. Now here I will just continue with this cut from front view and finish this shape here. Then I will do some chamfers on this main shape and I think it's the last thing we have to finish, detailing the main body, the top of our weapon. And I'm sure it will be the most uh, more uh, the worst and more difficult than the other parts. Okay, from which view we go to the cuts? I think this is fine. I know the cutting is nothing uh, funny, but you have to do them sometime. Actually, we don't have so much cuts. I will also look how many polys I have on this model. I'm sure if I will be using just the subdivision, I will not have so much because I will I will have less because uh, 
I don't have to use so many chamfers to my models, but I decided to do it that way, or try to do it, to use that and that technique. It doesn't matter now how much I will have police. For me, but it's interesting to see. Okay, more cards here, and we will also look on the rest of the model. If there is everything okay or correct, and if not, uh, we will try to fix it. But I think the model is going to be well. Okay, we don't have to go to the top, but I think uh, to the bottom. Let's go to the bottom and see. <coughs> okay, I will drag the connections here and after connect it uh, from perspective. Now you can see that like the shape is changing a little bit. It's because the cutting and it's straightening and copying a model better. So it's good. It's good that something is changing here, so don't be afraid about this. Now let's go to perspective and just connect this here and it's not it's not absolutely straight but it doesn't matter. We'll have to use weld and the weld shape here. And I hope everything is properly connected. Oh. Okay, you can see that I already did here some mess and it won't uh, allow me to connect. I just want to look if I use... Yeah, this weld setting which is right now assigned, it's, it's fine, so it will be easier, the more easier to connect everything together after what we can do here. What's a straight cut and the last one. Okay, again, it stopped me here somewhere because of something. Oh, it's fine. Now let's go to perspective. Oh, yeah. Control A and let's do the weld. Now we're losing some vertex. I hope there are still. It's not much, it's like 20 and something, 25 or what. But we're just losing the. Vertex which we really don't need, and we have a really small value of welding, so I think it's fine. Okay, now okay, let's uh, look again on the smoothing, and you see that now the subdivision is stopping here. It's what we wanted to achieve. Now we can go for two value. And also, I think this at the top is fixed. Uh, actually, I think everything. Okay, here we could go a cut. And you see how easily it was to fix that thing. Now, uh, let's just uh, pull. Here should be some statistic. Yeah. Okay, we have 46,000 points just without any modifiers. Wow. It's a lot, but how I told, it's also cause uh, we're using a lot of chamfers. If we're using just one, we have we will have just probably the half of that, or maybe less. So it's also cause this. With apps, uh, with subdivision, we will have a lot. I'm sure. Like in one, we will have to double. I don't know why it's not updating. Hmm, strange. Hmm. 
Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter for us so far. So. Like every tiny detail uh, is police. Like the screws, we will have a lot of screws there. And everyone screws one detail more. So. We have something to have really detailed and not just by using texture. You have to have a lot of polys. So. Let's loop this and we will do a few chamfers here. We'll do chamfer here and also here. Actually, everywhere here. I'm thinking now if to do them at once. Actually, yes. So, jump here, which means more polys, but we will survive that. Should I don't did my poly count change? Yeah. No, I don't believe this is okay. Settings looks very strange. Now what else? I will keep this like this, and actually I will don't do any more chamfers right now. Yeah, this is very strange. What is here? I can quickly fix this one. Hmm. Ah, okay. Oh, I will just keep it. Yeah, I think it will be fine anyway. Okay, unhide all. Yeah, we have a lot of policy. And again, we moved our model to look more like the original. It have a lot of details now, really a lot of them. And the last part will be this, which will be the most difficult. Now let's see what is upcoming to us. I will hide this. Okay, we have here something which is going here. We have this here, which I don't know if it's inside. Pulled inside or oh, what? Mm -hmm. Okay, very nice. This will be fine. Also, this one at the top, but. Okay, here are really a lot of details at the top, which will be very funny and interesting to do. So far, our model is looking, I think, fine. It's very detailed so far, and I think just two more parts, maybe three. I hope just one, but I'm sure it will be more of modeling, and we will be finished with this gun. And then we will do some nice materials and do a render. So I hope you will still like my gun and that you modeling it like me and have fun by this and that you think also that my technique isn't so bad and so, and so on. So thanks for watching so far and see you in the next part. Bye bye.